Good. All right. We'll open it up for Tanner. So you're feeling refreshed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how did how did the night go? I mean, everything clicked like it was supposed to. Coach Lassie had a great plan for us, and we executed at a high level. We had a good week of practice, and we were ready to go. He said during the week that sitting out last week, to Joe's point, you were refreshed, recharged. There had to be more to it than just being better rested this week, right? Um, yeah, like, like I said, I mean, we clicked. Um, I mean, sitting out last week gave me a, a new perspective that I haven't had to deal with, like, ever. Just being hurt. I mean, sitting out and, like, feeling helpless, it kind of made me take a step back and say, hey, like, don't you dare take this stuff for granted. Like, this, this stuff can get taken away from you. I mean, guys go through way tougher stuff than I, I did last week, you know. I mean, Jake Bailey and Bo Krause, both freaking warriors, and they can't play the rest of the year. I mean, I, I, mean, I couldn't imagine mentally what they're going through. And I just experienced, what, like eight days of it? So, I mean, it, it really gave me a new perspective, and I was like, like don't you dare take any, anything for granted. Because, I mean, it, it was weird. I mean, I was really, this kind of positive out of it was kind of just getting a new perspective out of the game, uh, kind of being like a mini coach. Just watching uh, Preston and Kevin do their thing, which is cool. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, kind of, it gave me a new like, hey, like wake up, don't don't ever take that stuff for granted because like that you can be taken away. Is there a point early in a game like this where you just feel like everything's clicking and you and the receivers are on the same page, the plays are working, and and it's all kind of coming together? Um yeah, I mean, guys have their nights. The ball was just spinning out of my hand. Uh, the guys were making freaking plays. I mean, that that bender, that glance I hit with Sheehan, where he was running full speed to towards the middle of the field, stopped one dime, caught I threw a terrible ball, caught it, and behind, way behind him. Like, when that kind of stuff happens, like, it's kind of our night offensively. Like, we're going I'm, just, I'm kind of curious from your mindset. I mean, because not only are you guys clicking, but they were clicking too. It's 21-21, and eventually Nick gets an interception. But they were obviously doing so well. I guess in your in your mind, is it like, hey, we got to keep scoring because they're scoring, or is it just, hey, we're just doing our own thing right now and we're just on fire? Um, I think it's important for us to just focus on us, uh, not worry about the, <laughs> the other offense because we literally can't do anything about that. So um, it's just kind of keeping our head down for us and just going to work. Um, those two picks, like you said, they got were huge. I mean, that's what that's what separated us. You had the school record going into today with seven touchdowns last year against Abilene, and you tied it at halftime. <laughs> at some point, when you're piling up those numbers in the first half, did your teammates start to treat you different or stay away from you or anything? No, absolutely not. No way. I mean, we're. I mean, the records are great. I mean, that's awesome. It was fun. But I would have been equally or more happy. <clears throat> We had seven touchdowns rushing. I mean, I mean, we're winning, we're scoring. I mean, that's, that's all that matters. How'd you Honestly. like the black uniforms? <laughs> They're awesome. Yeah, the guys were, uh, I know y'all saw the video. The guys were freaking pumped. Uh, yeah, awesome. So you'd wear them again? Absolutely. Yeah. Red said that he knew Thursday you guys were going to win. And he also expressed Wednesday, like, hey, let's go have a killer mindset. Let's go out there and let's do this. I guess, how much confidence did you guys have in, you know, that you guys could go out and, and perform the way you did? Um, I'll say this about this team. I, I've been on uh, some different teams with different coaches. This team, I mean, we were 4-4 four four, um, four tonight, and a lot, of, a lot of teams look at that like, man, we suck. We're not, we're not going to give it 100%. But this team, no matter what, we play hard. Like, y'all can, the media can say a lot of stuff about this team, but one thing, that you can't say is we don't we don't lay it all out. So I mean that, that's what I'm really proud of. Three of your touchdowns tonight went to Ben Redding yeah. before he got hurt. Did his performance surprise you at all? And where did you and the offense miss him the most when he after he went out? Um, for your first question, absolutely not. Did not surprise me. Uh, I mean he's played a lot of ball. Uh, he's been here for five years. I mean, he's experienced. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, I couldn't be more excited and proud of him. He deserves those, those three touchdowns. And I think missing him is just, like I said, his leadership. He's played for five years. He understands what we're doing. And um, I think that's what we miss most about him. And 
Uh, I mean, he was there in spirit. He was on the sideline. You know, uh, he's a really good leader for us, and he was still doing his thing. How big is a win like this for you guys? Back-to-back -back conference wins, good opponent, to kind of you know, a November win that's that's been tough to come by the last few years here. I think it's huge. Uh, November is where championships are won. Uh, that's where teams are remembered from is this month, uh, championship November. Uh, it's huge. Like you said, we last year we didn't play well in November. Uh, so to get a good start, two wins in a row, uh, one in November is huge. The series with Houston, at least as conference opponents, ended tonight. How much did you guys talk about uh, maybe signing off that series the way you did tonight? Uh, or did I it come up? I didn't realize it until you said that. I mean, I knew they were going to be talk, but I, I didn't think about that. Um, me, personally, I knew last year it was a really sour taste for the, the way it went. Um, but, I mean, they're a, good, they're a good squad. They got, obviously, really good deep, I mean, really good offense. Um, they got a quarterback over there that really slings the ball around. Uh, he's going to be successful at the next level, too. So um, it's huge for us to win. I was, I was looking at the box point, just kind of shaking my head at just some of the numbers because of just how ridiculous they are. I guess from your perspective, have you been in a game like this where the offense has been so crazy, everything was back and forth? I mean, it feels like a, week, a pretty unique game. Yeah, um, maybe in high school. I mean, last year we didn't have any. I mean, we, did we break the record for points? Yeah, yeah for yeah. FRSMU points and then the regulation record for FBS teams combined. Yeah, so, I mean, no, I have not missed it like this. Uh, I, I told my I told my dad this. I was I was at the uh, Tech OU game in 2017 mm -hmm. when Pat Mahomes and Baker threw for like over a thousand yards combined. And, like, it was the longest football game of all time. I was watching the highlights on that yesterday. And I was like, I thought to myself, like I know they got a really good dude over there that can sling it. I mean, I'm like this could happen. And like I didn't I did not believe it could happen. Like I didn't think it was like yeah we score 77 points that never. But I knew that it could be a shootout. It was crazy that that happened. Yeah. A week ago, after the Tulsa game, Rhett was talking about uh, Tyler Levine with what do you have, 72 yards and three touchdowns or something last week, to come out tonight and 147, 146 yards and a score. After sort of waiting his turn as part of that rotation during the course of this year, what impressed you most about Tyler tonight? Tyler's a freaking dog. I mean, he freaking runs harder than anyone I've ever seen. Uh, he loves football more than anyone on this team. He he does everything right, like you said, waiting his turn. He wasn't. He didn't start the year as a starting running back, and I mean, he's never wavered. His attitude's never wavered. His efforts never wavered, um, and he just plays his freaking butt off no matter what. And I, I yeah, he he is the ultimate teammate, football teammate. Ultimate, number one, best ever.